uh, inside the L of our house, which is that little portion there with the window broken, uh, playing board games with my children at 8 o'clock. And I could start to hear the boulders moving, which is not a great sign. It makes us feel uneasy, but it happens three or four times a year during big rains. Um, John came in from a walk and said the river is rising quickly. We should get the things. We have a finished basement, move those up to higher ground in the house, which we worked on, I would say, for 20 minutes. And then my husband um, opened the front door and saw that the river had burst the bank which has only happened previously during Hurricane Irene. And um, we had to get out. And he told the kids to get out and get in the car. They grabbed the pets and their favorite possessions. I was still downstairs. He told me to get out. I came up and was very frightened about their being in the car and asked him to get them to safety. My neighbor, Dean, wasn't home. And we sat on, we stood on his porch. Well, they were on the porch. I made one more run against his advice back down into the basement to switch off the main for the electricity. And um, when I was in there, the retaining wall, which is gone and you can't picture it, but for our lawn, burst and broke against the cement wall in the area where I was standing. And that shook the house. And I got up and out and I started to run up the road, but I fell in the flood and it pushed me down because it was coming down the road. And I did get up and be able to jump up to there and grab a tree and get on the lawn and run to them. And we stood and watched and I would say about 10 minutes after we got here, a really, really big surge of water at about eight feet came down. We suspect the beaver dam up adjacent to Foster Pond broke because that's the watershed and came down at full force and we watched it engulf the house completely and four trees that were here at that time further down here gave way, crashed on the house and smashed things and let in the water. So in retrospect. Stood here and watched um, after the trees crashed on the house, John said, what's going on? The cars lit up. We watched them light up. They were parked in the driveway. And all of a sudden, they tilted like the Titanic lit up going down. And they started to slide. They were parked in front of the barn there. And at that point, we ran. It's terrible. ran up over the hill through the water to a friend's house and we've been staying there for the past five days with them. They wrapped around us and helped us. Um, and other friends in town who have just moved to St. Johnsbury have offered us their home indefinitely to live in and as we rebuild our lives. But this is hard. There is no better community. I can't tell you, I have not seen as many people I love supporting us since our wedding day. That, that idea of human capital being the only capital that matters is, is, is just so true. You cannot replace people. No. And we know that, but it really, really, really brings it up.